Why is an old guy standing in my doorway? Eugene Schwartz. Eugene Schwartz. Dr. Cuddy asked me to come up here from the clinic. She says you're seeing patients in your office. It, it's still free, though, isn't it? She sent him. It's got to mean something. I'll go get my Dakota ring. <sighs> I squawk like a parrot. Oh! No, that's not it. It started a few months ago. I was doing some woodworking in my garage. I was trying to make a chair. Was it the chair? Anyway, all of a sudden, from nowhere, the strange noise comes bursting out of my mouth. Caw! Caw! Tough to fake that. Nice pants. My wife, Mona, thinks I'm busting her chops. It's ruining my marriage. Where are we going? We've always remembered what this hospital did for Leo when his appendix burst. Still, a check this size. Sorry to interrupt. Here's my poo. <laughs> Dr. House said to bring it over and leave it with you as soon as I could. I don't know if you people have an official term for it. Stool sample? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, I'll take care of it. It's hard to rush these things, even if you've eaten a lot of broccoli. Clotting can be a problem well before a solid tumor forms. It could still be pancreatic. Yes, but if you want a diagnosis backed by actual evidence, we should probably look at other cancers. House. I just squawked! What? Eugene Schwartz, your patient from yesterday, I just squawked! I was buying some flowers for Mona. It happened when I was paying the clerk. I assume Dr. Cuddy gave you this number. Yes! She told me to call you any time I squawked! Day or I'm night. sorry, but I'm about to lose you because I'm about to drive into a tunnel in a canyon on an airplane while hanging up the phone. I might be getting some more phone calls, so let's make it fast. Lymphoma. That's right, pancreatic. I know it's pancreatic. I know there's evidence, I know we've seen it. I just can't... Right brain, left brain issues? This is beyond asshood! You have the luxury of not caring about your image. I do not. I can permit a lot of crap, but an employee shouting about his sexual exploits with me, no, that is zero tolerance. So congratulations, House. I am angry. I was wondering if we should move in together. <laughs> You're fired. I wouldn't worry about it. I think she likes you. If I'm fired, I think that probably means I don't have to see patients. I'm here as a squeaky wheel. <laughs> I know how you doctors are. You're busy, you get distracted. My lab results can be sitting in your inbox. I don't need your labs. You have acid reflux. Well, how could you? Acid splashes on the vocal cords, they tense, make that squawking sound. It's completely harmless. I'm gonna give you a prescription, and you are gonna go away. You are a great doctor. <laughs> Why don't you move your belt? I always move my belt. It makes me sore. You didn't tell me that. At 86, what isn't sore? Soreness is less important than squawking. It's the squawking that was bothering my wife. Ugh. That's not a pot belly. That's a tumor. That's why pancreatic cancer was on my mind. My brain was trying to tell me. This isn't sounding good. Pancreatic cancer. Can cause acid reflux. We should scope you. So it's not good. Even for cancer, it's not good. No, it's not. The deodorant has a high proportion of propylene glycol. Same stuff made a kid in Singapore develop a heart condition and get this, seizures. Our patient may never have needed split brain surgery. I'm sure he will half appreciate the irony. Take this man to radiology, pancreatic scan, and stay with him. Eugene Schwartz. <laughs>